Coming off of a Grinduro high, uh, I thought I'd get the get the bike ready for the Lost and Found, my first uh, Lost and Found. For sure gonna put some new brake pads on and uh, do a wheel and tire swap, folks. I'll tell you, I'll tell you about it. I'm gonna wash up the bike after Grinduro uh, before uh, doing my, my wheel swap so that all of that stuff is all clean and ready to go. I like to clean my bikes. I like to keep my bikes clean. I, am I doing it right? Am I doing it wrong? Let me know in the comments, question mark. But I've been, uh, it's just how I do it. It's, so far, so good. It, it works for me. But I do like to keep my bikes, uh, bikes clean. I had some problems before when I was mounting, these are the Scribe 650B Wide Plus Plus, I think is what they're called, uh, carbon wheel set from Scribe. Uh, when I first was mounting, uh, setting them up, I did have some problems uh, getting the, the tire to, to seal on, on the, the rim. Granted, my compressor sucks. Uh, I love Ryobi. But it's kind of like a basically it's like a kids compressor it's a compressor for kids but uh actually today it <laughs> worked out great um so so thank you thank you ryobi for that amazing compressor i know what i want to say um you know this setup is kind of it lacks context because i don't really know much about the terrain around the lost and found i've never done the lost and found I've never ridden around that area of Portola, California. I have done some riding in Tahoe, uh, which is <laughs> fairly near there. So I'm just kind of like going with this idea that having uh, some fatter, more aggressive tires is going to be a good thing. Howdy do, folks. Uh, Lost and Found is about a week away. Uh, has everyone totally figured out their bike setup yet? Coming in uh, late to the station, the train. It's coming in late. Uh, but I thought I'd tell you about my setup for the Lost and Found. And number one thing I did uh, is what I should have done uh, for Grinduro, and that is swap over to the 650Bs. I was running uh, 47 uh, millimeter WTB, WTB uh, Ventures, which is a pretty smooth, uh, uh, fast rolling tire, uh, and really not uh, aggressive enough for a lot of the terrain around Santa Cruz, but it was my first, first uh, venture into 650B, and I was kind of playing it safe. Here, uh, I just mounted um, a 50 millimeter uh, Soma Casadero and a uh, little little more chunky, and I'm hoping that's gonna do the trick. I should have measured this. Maybe I will uh, in Magic Land, and I'll show you, because I did kind of want to measure the actual width. The Ventures come in real uh, accurate, uh, around 47 millimeter. These, I'm guessing, I, my prediction is under 50 millimeter, uh, so under as advertised. Uh, putting the 650Bs back on, I'm also just like, Wow, these are definitely a smaller wheel, and it's weird. Um, especially for me with the 53 uh, Haka, uh, it lowers the Haka down, uh, increases, uh, you have to be a little more aware, pedal strike and things like that. I'm gonna be bringing my <laughs> second wheel set. How did I get to be this person with like the multiple wheel sets and various things? Uh, don't have children, number one, so this is probably part of that. Um, and then just, you know, be a cycling fanatic. But I'm gonna bring the, uh, my 700 Cs that have an awesome tire, a 42 millimeter WTB Resolute. Uh, that is just a, a great, great tire. But uh, again, coming off of Grinduro, which was more or less a mountain bike event, I'm thinking bigger is better. So uh, the Soma Casaderos are gonna do the trick. Every time I venture away, venture is the key word of this video. Um, every time I venture away from 
WTBs, I have some kind of problem. Uh, so fingers crossed that these are gonna gonna work out. Uh, nothing really new in the Haka. I'm running a 38 chain ring with the Garbaruk 1046 cassette. I've got that set up on all my bikes, which is just two bikes, but three wheel sets. So the uh, I love the Garbaruk cassette. The 1046 seems to uh, give me everything I need. Uh, you know that having that 10 versus an 11 makes a big big difference when you are on uh, fast uh, rolling parts perhaps descents so nothing new with the drivetrain hopefully that's going to be uh, okay uh, i've also been running a small frame bag instead of having stuff in jersey pockets and that's just been working out really really great as well so i'll probably have that in fact here it is right here um this is outer shell, I believe, a small frame bag for my small bike. Um, yeah, so lost and found should be fun. Some camping, some good times, and uh, bike vids. If you if you see me there, uh, say hello. If you're doing lost and found, uh, you know, let us know in the comments. And I hope you're doing well. Uh, take care.